and you're watching the Never Show, where we hate that COPPA thing, and we do what we got to do to get you a movie review. Hey, how's it going, YouTube friends? It's me, you one fuzzy boy. Never back at you again, Eternally Scott, and the Worldwide Ick with the World Gone Crazy. So you're looking for an escape. My show is here for you. Yes, it is the only show with lemon-scented limes, lest I forget, and the only show with a supernatural, super awesome third eye. And yes, I know this joke is bad, and we poke fun at it, but thank you if you did. Laugh. Also, thank you for clicking that subscribe button and that little bell icon and adding me to your YouTube experience. With that said, it's movie review time. Let's get into it, shall we? And today's movie is Bullet Train. It is a rated R film. It is two hours and seven minutes. It came out the 5th of August. I'm a little late to this, but better late than never, as I always say. It's from director David Lynch. You know him. He did Deadpool 2, Hobbs and Shaw, Atomic Blonde, and he's on the unaccredited, unaccredited on John Wick. So, yeah, they picked somebody good to do this. Uh, his co-writer, his writers were Zach Oshwitz and Oktaro. Isaka, if I'm pronouncing their names right. Oh, we got a star-studded cast today. Brad Pitt, Joey King, Aaron Taylor Johnson, Brian Tyree Henry, Andrew Koji, Hiroko Sadata, Michael Shannon, Sandra Bullock, Bad Bunny, Logan Lerman, Zazel Beats, and Masa Oka. Yes, that Masa Oka from uh, Heroes. So if you haven't seen that, go back and watch it. It's a great TV show. Our production companies were 78 North, CTB Inc., Hill District Media, Sony Pictures Entertainment, and our distributor here in the good old United States of America, God bless America, the land that I love was Columbia Pictures. Our special effects were done by Big Flick Rentals, Double Negative, and Lola Visual Effects, so Trinity Jason, and Shaw VFX. Good names here, some I haven't heard before, but you know what? Enjoyed the film nonetheless. My thoughts on the film. I love what Brad Pitt is doing in this, but kind of like they're soft paddling Brad Pitt to us as part of some weird, you know, deal. Also, Zazel Beats and stuff is barely in the film. And, you know, uh, we wait a long time to see Michael Shannon. Sandra Bullock is a voice actor in this, basically. We don't see her until the end of the film. I think Aaron Taylor Johnson and Brian Tyree Henry as Tangerine and Lemon carry this film, along with a lesser extent, Joey King. And it's interesting. It is a big comedy of errors. This is, I think this is a comedy. I'm going to say it is a comedy. It, it's so ridiculous. Brad Pitt is just being Brad Pitt and being weird and, you know, this whole medical fit, meso, meta, physical thing with nonsense and stuff, how my luck is so bad. I mean, if he had luck like mine, he'd have great luck <laughs> oh because i have no luck at all and it's an interesting film there's a lot to it there's a lot to play with here and um i do feel like the non-linear storytelling does hurt it a little bit because they do get into the story of a snake and a water bottle and i feel like this is too much filler for for what this is also, there's a crazy Mexican hit that goes on in the middle of this on top of the already, you know, seven or eight hits that are going on in this movie. And it gets so ridiculous, but in a good way. And I think if you can laugh at it and enjoy the story, why the heck not? It feels very bombastic and I liked it. And it did keep me from ADDing quite a bit, but not a lot. And I do want to see what CinemaSense thinks about this. Um, I see this as a definite TV watch. 
and maybe a DVD buy if I should come across it in, you know, a Walmart movie dumpster. Uh, I just don't see myself re-watching this again. There's more stuff coming to theaters and more stuff on VOD that I really have to get to. And feel like it's a one and done for me. Uh, if you haven't seen it, uh, hopefully this influences you on going to see it. If you're not, please, if you have seen it, please don't uh, blurt it out in the comments. You will be blocked. I don't know what else to say. So, And with all that said, for a final time, if you like what you've seen here, make sure you hit that that like button. Likes and views are how YouTube works now. It's not the way I like it. It's just the way it is. Remember, all comments are 100% guaranteed response. Your comments are the highlight of my day. And when they're not there, I truly do miss them. With that said, you know I have to ask. Amazon and Patreon is how us smallish YouTubers do it. And I love being able to say that I am a smallish YouTuber now. Thank you for that. And thank you for your support so far. And thank you for supporting my American dream. And with all that said, for a final time, if you want to see more of this nonsense, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that little bell icon. Ring-a-ding-ding. And I will see you all in the next movie review. Bye!